good morning students continuing with division today we shall just learn how to divide by 10 100 1000 and so on now any sum given to us for example you have 365 divided by 10 up till now the way you have been doing it you will do the long division 365 is the dividend 10 is your divisor you will use the tables of 10 first place will remain empty so 10 threes are 30 6 minus 0 6 bring down 5 again table of 10 10 sixes are 60 minus 5 no number to be brought down so 36 is the quotient and 5 is the remainder in the same way if you have to divide by 100 you will use the tables of 100 100 200 300 if you have to divide by 1000 you will use 1000 2000 3000 so on and on using this long division method but children if i were to tell you let us not do this long division method and the same sum that we have done just remember the quotient is 36 and the remainder is 5 instead of doing this in this long division method we can do it in a very very short method maybe and we will use just i think not more than 10 seconds to do the sum same sum so i think you will all agree that it's always better and advisable to go in for the short method these are some small tips that you can easily understand and follow now same sum 365 divided by 10 now what do we do we are not going to do the long division method and children this method you can follow only when you are dividing by 10 100 1000 and so on look at the divisor by 10 how many zeros are there in 10 there is only one zero in 10 so remember one place now let's move on to the dividend dividend this is ones tens hundreds of places go on and on so because 10 has got only one zero one place we will take from your right hand side that is the units place 10 so one place underline that one number that you have and put this into a circle what is inside the circle is the remainder what is outside the circle is the quotient so your quotient is 36 remainder is 5 isn't it a very very short method of doing this division now let's actually take another sum where i am not going to do much of all these detail explanation and you just see how much time we took to solve it suppose your next sum is 1728 divided by 10 10 so one place underline put it in a circle what is outside is the quotient so quotient is 172 and remainder is 8 how many seconds when you do it count it on your own how many seconds did you take that's it finish so howsoever big your dividend is it will not make any difference the same method will be there let's take a bigger number 55000 Six hundred and fourteen divided by ten. One zero. One place. Put it in a circle. When you do it in your notebook, please use a marker to draw this circle. It is not the proper shape of a circle, but we just call it a circle because we are putting this into this sort of shape. So, what is your quotient? What is outside is your quotient. Five thousand five hundred and sixty-one, and your remainder is four. easy same thing let's move on to 100 same method we follow even for 100 now the only difference you will see that comes in is 98704 divided by 100 100 has got how many zeros two zeros so we count again two places from the right hand side that is the ones and tens you just remember two places one to again put it in a circle what is outside is the quotient quotient is 987 
remainder is 0, 4 or simply 4 also if you write absolutely correct. Isn't it? So very easy. And the same method again applies when we divide by 1000. 2 lakh 38,926 divided by 1000. 1000 has got how many places of 0, 3, 1, 2, 3, count. 1, 2, 3, put it in a circle. What is outside is the quotient. That is 238. What remains inside is the remainder. That is 926. And this is exactly the way you are going to do it even in your notebooks. One more example, let's see, in which we'll take lots and lots of zeros. The method remains the same. There will be absolutely no difference. Suppose you have 40,000 divided by 100. How many? Two places. Two places. Put it into this circle. What is outside is the Quotient. Always write the quotient first. Quotient is 400. Remainder. We have two zeros over there. No need to write two zero. Whether you write two zero, three zero, four zero, they are all zero. So one zero is more than enough. You want to write two zero, you can easily write it. It won't be wrong. So this is it children. Your division by ten, hundred and thousand. Now, this is exactly the way you are going to do it in your notebook. Write the date, classwork. Suppose this is sum number 1. Just copy the sum. Follow the steps that I told you. Count the number of zeros. Count the number of places. Put it in a circle. And this is a children. Division by 10, 100 and 1000. But you only need to remember one thing. And that is this very, very short method that we are doing of division and just counting the places can be done and is done only when we are dividing either by 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, lakhs, so on and on. So just remember, when you divide by 10, just count one place. When you divide by 100, count two places. And when you divide by 1000, count three places and so on and on. So that's it children, division by 10, 100 and 1000. Have a good day.